Okay. <clears throat> Panic mixers. I've never played this level. As far as I can remember, at least. But the title alone gives me feelings. There's no way the right will. There's no way the rhino will be able to just charge through that thing. I don't think rhinos versus wheels laced with spikes is a good matchup. I just. There has to be a. Uh, oh, nope, there he goes. Uh, and there he goes too. I was about to say, there has to be a reason they give me, uh, Randy. I guess I'll never know. Alright, gotta time this. Why did I jump again? <laughs> oh, I did so well. Oh, but yeah, that's where I meant to throw. There's three of these little bastards. Oh man, how'd that happen? Wait a second. I need candy right now. I've got a headache. And sugar is what, what cures what ails me. Lots of sugar. Okay, you care. Give me a second. Okay. So it kind of occurred to me, just then, that these wheels are actually the mincers. <laughs> Alright, this time don't jump. There you go. Oh man. No! Oh, brother! Whatever. Oh god. Why? Well, he's dead, dead. He fell. <laughs> it looks like a place I could throw some TNT at. Huh. Monkeys look kind of gross, huh? Never would have thought. I mean, the answer makes sense, but it makes sense in like a, like... <laughs> 1 plus 1 equals 2 kind of way. That doesn't explain why 1 plus 1 equals 2. Like, what is it about the simians that is not appealing to a furry? Because, like, you think about it, a lot of, like, normal animals aren't really appealing either. Oh, I, I thought I could crouch. It's the, the cartoon anthropomorphized version. I don't think anyone could look at, like, Diddy or Donkey Kong. And say, yeah, that, that looks really realistic. Like, maybe, maybe if there was a monkey with like bright neon green fur, you know, make it a bit, a bit jazzier. Tarzan as a monkey furry. <laughs> That's. 
I don't think that's the way it works. Where people can say anything. I don't think it really makes much sense because he's not trying to look like a monkey, right? It's more like he's appropriating monkey culture. And even then, that's not really true because he's raised by monkeys. So it's not really his, his choice in the matter. It's just... Uh, what the hell? It's just... He's a... Um, what do you call it? Not a victim? But a uh, a product of his environment. There you go. Oh my God! I cannot make that jump to save my life. From the other kid, it's different. <laughs> Man, I think I don't know a whole lot about other kid, but I think part of it has to be an intent to have that kind of identity or culture. Arzan was literally raised by monkeys. It's really not the same. Whoa. Almost got minced. What's in here? Oh, look at that. Mincers. Who would he known? I got the G though. I see the bottom? There it is. Misty Mine. Isn't that a level from Mario 64? Ooh. What's that background noise? It's kind of sexy. I. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I meant to throw out the barrel. Oh, I want that. It's not gonna be my day for saving barrels. Can't wait to download a uh, an OST of this and blaze the misty mine background in my car. If this was Mario, I'd be getting extra lives. Oh, what the fuck? That <laughs> okay, thanks, game. Well, damn. Can't hold on to him. Why are there so many goddamn barrels? Barrels of crocodiles. See ya. Uh, they just put every single animal in a barrel. This is the Noah's Ark of barrel economics. Where did he come from? Alright, Funky, take me out of here. I need lives again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Almost did jump there. There's another one over here. How do I get to it? Not like that. Oh well. Oh. 
Oh my god, there's so many extra lives. I love it. Damn it! Oh. I knew I should have waited. Get on the horse. Um, I didn't say horse, I said rhino. I know what you're talking about. Let me see if DK can jump on his head and get up there. I wanted to get 350, that way it'll hit 700 and give me 7 lives. I just want to do one more round of the frog thing. And that should be enough lives to, you know, do whatever else is in this game. So close. I still can't figure that one out. Ooh. 
This area actually has a lot of secret stuff, surprisingly, like this, this first level. More than most Mario games, in the first level. Yep. Alright, frog me up. Alright, get some. Good. I asked this in another, um, another server a long time ago, and that is, you know how they wear cattails and cat ears at like conventions and, you know, just in general? Does that count as a fur bikini? Like, if you think about how a bikini is just minimum a two set piece swimsuit like if someone doesn't want to put on the full thing because those suits probably take a lot of effort to go through and to keep clean and stuff oh, i thought it was funny slides like sometimes you think they just you know, throw on some ears and a tail and say well bikini's on good enough Just a thought. Something I've never fully figured out. Loopy lights. It's another stupid light puzzle. What? Why did he jump? <laughs> Bastard. Oh, what's those that jump when you jump? At least I can see them when the lights are off on like some of the other levels. Some fun bit of platforming. Feels like I should have brought that with me, but oh well. That's too much effort. <laughs> too much effort when secrets really only get you extra lives. And I've got a excellent place to farm them. Oh fuck, it's okay, I'm good. Those Kremlins jump like Donkey Kong does with his hands up and all that. I don't know how that didn't hit me, but I'm not complaining. Uh, finally, I only got the G unit of the alphabet. Can this guy calm down with those barrels? Oh, oh I can't get that now, I think. Oh, you! Oof. Mm. I don't know why anyone will put a little chomper right there. I could feel the salt. Platform perils. Oh, great. I love it. I love platforming. Let me get that down there. Oh. I thought it might have led to a secret if I just, like, let it. We go on. 
Holy shit, he really came at me like that. Well, I wish I had Donkey Kong out so I could have just jumped on him. And that's not fair. There was no way around that. Spare all time. My hourly bonus is dependent on it. This level is like what it's like to work at Amazon, to be honest. I really identify with what Donkey's going through. <laughs> wow, right on the noggin. I can't believe it did that shit. Oh, I'm missing a no. I'd like to buy it. I'd like to buy a vowel, please. I need a Diddy out. He holds the barrel in a better position to hit that guy with. I couldn't see that goddamn platform there. Uh, it, it respawned the other platform too. Again, off screen. Why does that E just just spawn there just so I can die? Oh, I need donkey. Oh, I can't switch while I'm on the platform. Oh, that sucks. Is there's that one guy I need to hit? Forgot to switch again. <clears throat> All right, switch pawns. This level definitely isn't dabbing that hard on me. I've only died like three or four times. When I first played uh, Vulture Culture, that was a lot more deaths. That one ice level and the cave level. This level's trying to dab on me, but it's, it's not even getting close. It's raising an arm, doesn't even have its elbow, you know, tucked in or anything. I 
I'm just dying from, uh... What is it? God, it's shit like that. I know better than to do that. But it's just unfamiliarity with the layout and the level just getting me with surprises. I need to switch cons. Alright. Switch! <laughs> What? Well, so much for switching Kongs. There's nothing chat about these crocs. Switch. Thank you. Go left. Let me, uh, oh, I wanted to switch Kongs, I forgot I can't. Nope! Oh, Look at that. Now I'm the one dabbing on this level. Oh. Whoop! Nope! Uh, okay, just take the hit. <laughs> Don't know why that counts, but uh, still lost. What's his name? Fancy running into you two. Ew. Way out here. Crafty Croctopus corners his croc of cro oh, Fuck off. <laughs> I'm not reading that shit. Fuck you and whoever wrote that line of dialogue. Uh, it's a refight against Neki and his nuts. What the fuck? Bad out to you that time. Is he dead yet? <sighs> All right, now I know how his nuts work, so I shouldn't be getting hit by his nuts. Was just weird. Look at that. Ugh. Give him the ground pound. Slap his face for that shit. Gangplank Galleon. Finally. The last area. Wait, is this actually the boss? It is! I can't believe that attack didn't work again. Oh, wow, what a mix-up. Yeah, <laughs> well, first time fighting him. I've got 28 Kongs. I think this game's gonna get done tonight. I always enjoy uh, finishing off a week by finishing a game. All right, now he runs twice. Wow, he runs fast. Is he dead yet? What's that sound? Oh, it's his big balls. All right. I do really like the music in here because it starts like like a really boring normal sea shanty, and then it picks up and gets kind of hardcore.
<laughs> oh, I didn't know it went back like that. Are you dead yet, man? Are you trying to mix up I haven't seen yet? Ow, oh, I'm gonna walk right into it. Damn. I need to stop talking. Like, that's how I always come undone on these kinds of games. There he's dead. Right? The K Reddit's coding. Then Boone in the Mortal Kombat team is gonna sue someone for these credits. <laughs> They're not allowed to replace C's with K's. It's, it's legally copyrighted by Netherrealm. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. You got me. I gotta start all the way from the beginning, right? Why does he even want these bananas? He's a crocodile. I don't eat bananas, for God's sakes. Whoa! Mm. Just gotta watch out for his big balls. Like, that's what happens when you preemptively jump. I should know better than that. Over seven years of fighting games, I'm still preemptively jumping. I swear I got reactions. for his balls again. Now he's gonna do two waves of balls. Three, three waves of balls. I think he'd break his own ship doing this. Of okay, course, I don't have to go through it again. Oh, but he could just step on me. understand. Kind of. So he takes two big jumps, but then when you hit him, he does the two big jumps again, and then does a bunch of smaller ones. I might be here for a while, just because the fight takes so long. Gotta wait for him to do his shit. Donkey Kong there in a really dumb way, so I don't mind restarting over. Ow. I'm not getting anti-air. My movement is just bad. I'm landing into stuff. K. Rule is literally doing nothing but standing there. And I'm falling into an attack. <laughs> this is completely different. Oh 
If I had Diddy, whose roll is faster, he would have gotten through that. That's my excuse. Come on, Diddy. You're best at dealing with his balls. I actually have to manually keep count of uh, his pattern, or else I straight up forget if he's gonna do two or three. <laughs> See? His roll is faster. So I think if I wait right around here, I should be safe from his first jump and his second jump. But the little hops are probably different. One more wave. Uh oh! Yeah, yeah I was right, but I, I fucked it up. Alright, wait right here. Maybe more in the center of the map. If I'm in the center when he's doing the short hops, it'll work. Alright, now he runs across once again. No, he runs across twice. What am I thinking? Not three times. See, I keep losing track really easily. I wish this balls didn't take so long to hit the floor. start. Well, it's not even a start. It's just, you know. I need to find a visual cue on window roll instead of trying to do it just, you know, when I feel like it. I want to say it's as soon as it hits the, uh, the gangplank. The gangplank? The galley. Uh, no. Maybe when it bounces off of it. Oops. Alright. I was looking at the wrong one. Has to be the closer one. The song is good except for this part, and this is the part I'm going to hear the most. This might sound controversial, but I don't think pirates make good sea shanties. For some reason, they were... 
able to make songs that fit a Disney queue line waiting for a, an amusement park ride. Several hundred years before they were actually a thing. What? <laughs> yeah, it looks like he can't believe that hit him either. beat this game in an hour so you know I've got 15 minutes to beat this this boss I think I can do it I don't see why not I'm just getting kind of unlucky I swear he's taking a little bit longer than normal to throw that sometimes. Yeah, that time was definitely faster. What about your stopwatch? I swear it's the truth. to do with some part of his animation cycle. Okay. No, I jumped! I swear I jumped. On all of my cons, I swear I jumped. Can't believe I'm fighting Crocodile on Wi-Fi. At a seven input delay frames. That's the way this works. Alphabet jumble, what I'm trying to say. There you go. Oh, waiting for this shit. Waiting for balls to drop. It's basically the story of puberty, this boss fight. It's a lot more controllable if I just move instead of trying to roll past. Yeah, it's way easier. So, you know, doing things harder for myself as usual. Also easier to just jump over the crown instead of trying to jump over him. Yeah, he does throw faster. There we go, yeah. Damn it! Is he gonna do big jumps again? No. Please be dead. He is dead. That's all it took. Game done, right? Well done, Donkey, my boy. Who'd have thought a young rubber snapper like you could have beaten that bunch of milker crumbs and made an old man proud? And that's really the greatest reward of all making your elders proud. Go and look in your hoard. I think you'll be in for a surprise. Well, I hit you with my cane. If I had been playing, I'd have found everything. Oh, fuck you, too. I'm sure there must be some bonus rooms you haven't found. Cranky, this game is nothing but bonus rooms. There ain't no way I'm gonna find every single bonus room without some kind of guide. What's up, bananas? Cast the characters. The bad guys. 
I don't know if I said this before, but I'm pretty sure Candy hasn't appeared in any other DK game. Maybe 64, but even then, I don't really remember him. Zingers can fuck off. Slippa's not bad. He's just put in weird parts. Mankey Kong's also a bastard. And Mini Neki. The aquatic bad guys. Bite size. I didn't know they had sound effects for the octopus. Clambo? Yeah, that's a real name. Squid sounds like a Pokemon name. <laughs> Do sharks even eat jellyfish? Feels like they don't. I don't know much about sharks or jellyfi. Crash, he must be a Floridian driver. Rock crocs are crazy. They look like actual monsters. Like from Alone in the Dark. Very naughty. Master Nyaki. Queen Bee. Really naughty. The dumb drum. All the bosses are just scaled up and repalletized versions of, you know, actual enemies in the game. It's like if Mario had a boss that was Big Goomba. Alright, finally I get to know their names, Ramby. Expresso, there was no way I could have guessed that. On guard, I knew it was French. Winky, yeah, that's that's not a frog name, that's why I can never figure it out. It's Walks. Someone got a chocolate on my arm. Is it my turn yet? I don't know. When are they going to give Cranky Kong a game? It certainly gets me next. Cranky Kong. Diddy Kong. And Donkey Kong. Not starring Mario. That's a big ass base if you look at it like compared to everyone else's sizes. What a prankster. Oh god, he's dead! Oh no, he's fine. It's a little bit of sibling abuse. Whoa, that's uncalled for. Ooh. It's amazing they've lasted this many games together. I did this using one life. Well, good for you, Cranky Kong. Ever had a game have a character that came in and just talked shit about how better he was than you? Aside from that, pretty good game. Really good music. And naturally it led to several other Donkey Kong games that terminated in 64. Tropical Freeze never heard of it because it's just a rehash. Feels like they never really took the genre for what we call the brand in a way like in a new direction. Like Mario keeps doing new things. Like they've had several different styles of RPG. There's Seven Stars, Paper Mario, the DS games, and they all play radically different from each other. Donkey Kong just went, eh, let's go back. Special thanks to Mr. Yamauchi. I wonder who that is. K. Law. It's fucking Clob from the 64 GoldenEye game. I can't believe Clob's in this game as a thank you. What did Clob do for the Donkey Kong crew? Wait, didn't Rare make GoldenEye? Let me look this up. Developers, Nintendo, Rare, and Ultimate play the game. Yes. That has to be the same clob. <laughs> that motherfucker <laughs> has been with them in some manner since Donkey Kong Country. I gotta figure out who clob is and why he's so special to Rare, but there we 
we go. Under an hour. Game done. 56%? If you round that up, that's 100%. I consider that a 100% completion. There's no way I can find all those bonus rooms. See ya probably this weekend.